Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I will be showing you how to configure recipes using IEC programming language in Mapware 7000. I'll be using an HMC 4000 series, specifically in HMC 4070. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is create some tags for your recipe configuration. So over on the left, select the tags folder. And I already have them created here. And here are the tags that I created. I created some word registers, some strings, as well as some bools. And for the bools will be a button that you will click on your base screen. It'll be a toggle bit and momentary bits. So the first one is recipe search group by, recipe load, recipe edit save, recipe search recipe by, and recipe save. You'll see more of this a little later on when I go over the recipe configuration and we start building out the user interface. And so here are your string data types and here are the words for the data entries that will be on the screen. And then the strings are obviously for ASCII displays. After you create all these tags, you'll want to make sure that you change these to retentive memory. So you can either do this later or do this now. You want to go into each tag and change it to retentive. You want to do this because you want it to be stored in a non-volatile memory. So if there is a power cycle or loss of power for your agency device, all your memory will still be stored in a non-volatile memory. Now, after you create your tags, you will then configure your recipe. So go to define recipe configuration. And when you first see this, it won't be checked off. And in order to enable, you'll need to check off enable recipe. And you'll see a lot of default tags here that you'll want to change to the tags that you created. So for recipe number display tag will be that associated tag we created and so on. And then down here, you would configure number of groups you want and the maximum number of groups you can have is 16. Here I just have one selected for number of recipes. I have three, but it can be a max of 256, number of elements three, and also a maximum of 256. Now down here, you can change your elements, your values here, if you just double click and you can change the value or you can import a CSV file that you have into your recipe configuration. Now, in order to do that, it has to match the configuration here. So if you have 100 recipes and 100 elements, you have to change that here. So the number of recipes will be 100, the number of elements will be 100, as well as groups. If you have 16 groups in your CSV file, when you import it, it'll have to be here as well. Now for your display edit tag will be the word registers we created. So item one display, item two display, item three display, and your actual recipe tag will be item one, two, and three. Data type will be unsigned. And once you have all that configured, you can hit okay. And it'll say recipe configuration is done. And now let's build our user interface. So go up to base screen and I already have one created here, I called it recipes. Now for group number display, these are all data entries, recipe number display data entry, as well as our display tag recipe tag. These are all data entries and I assign the, uh, the appropriate tag. So for element one, item one display, two would be item two, and then the recipe tag itself, item one, item two, item three. Same for up here, the associated tag that goes along with the multi multilingual text that we have here. And then here are your data entries for your ASCII displays. So these are the string tags we created and you have to change the data type to ASCII. Same for the ones down here. And as well, these are also data entries and they are also associated with the right tag. And up here, I have some toggle bits for uh, the search recipe by name and also search recipe by number. So when this is off, it will say search recipe by number. So that would be state zero and state one when it's on, search recipe by name, 
And then also for the group, same thing, search group by number, search group by name. And then the associated tags that we created. For your load save would be the recipe load tag, recipe save, and recipe edit save. And these are all momentary bits. Recipe status will be the recipe status tag. And that'll also be a data entry. And then here is a word lamp that will display the recipe status and the tag name recipe status that we created. State properties. If you go to here, here are your states. So state one will be no text. State two, group not found. State three, recipe not found. State four, recipe found, and so on. You can see here, that's all you have to do here for your user interface. Now, at this point, you have everything built out, everything configured. You can now download and go online. So go to mode, go online with download. If you are downloading for the first time, make sure you have firmware checked off. In this case, I've already downloaded one, so I just need to have application checked off. Now, if you are downloading for the first time, make sure you also check off initialize recipe values so that your retentive values are stored in a non-volatile memory. But keep in mind, if you download again, to make sure this is unchecked so you do not override your retentive values. So in this case, I've already downloaded once and I've already checked off initialize recipe values. So I'm going to uncheck that and hit download. And it may take a few seconds for the HMC device to load the application. Once it does, it will say run in the compile window and you know that you are online. Now, if we go to the data window, I have all the tags added here. Uh, to do that, you would just add variables and you just add all the tags here. So now I'm going to open up VNC Viewer to view the user interface. I'll bring over VNC Viewer. Now this is the actual HMC device user interface and everything is set to zero here. So let's say we want to view recipe number one. So here in the search, search recipe by number and search group by number. Now you can change this to search recipe by name, search group by name. Now it's saying this error because there's nothing entered in here. So first let's do the by number. So group number will of course be one because we only have one group number. And recipe number, let's just do one as well. And as you can see in your display edit, it says one for group one, so recipe one is written in the recipe name and the group name. And also the values that we entered in our configuration are displayed here, 60, 65, 70. Now you can change these on your user interface. Go to recipe tag. I'll say you want to just change this one to five, this one to 10, and this one to 15. So you have to make sure that you hit recipe save and it'll be saved to the display tag. Now, if you want to search recipe by name, you'll switch this to name. Now it's saying group not found because there's nothing entered here. So group name, you'll have to enter it exactly how it was configured. So you have to do caps and capital G and R O U P with no space because there's no space here. One hit enter. Now it's saying recipe not found because you need to enter both of these in order to display the recipe. So recipe name will have to be capital R E C I P E and then there is a space. So to make sure you put it in a space and this is recipe found. And now it's displaying recipe one because we're doing by name. Let's go here backspace do recipe two. And there's recipe two. Now let's do recipe three. And it's showing recipe three. And then to bring it over to recipe tag, type recipe load. And now it's over here, recipe tag. Let's go back and go between recipes here. Recipe two, there's recipe two. Let's load that over, load success. So this is how you would configure recipes using IEC programming language in Mapper 7000. This concludes the video. To get more information, please visit the How to Program Recipes tutorial page on the Maple Systems website. Thank you for watching.